Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refuse to work for Schizo. Something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop, and we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Deacon up. I gotta go. Deacon out. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red. Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke. Hey. Feeling a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Who's Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. Can only take so much of this truth or bullshit, you know? I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. I got you. 
place for you. Oh, good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Finally, Jesus.
there. Deke and St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke? Hey. Uh, I'm feeling a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Who's her? Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. It only takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Last time we was all together, I <laughs> kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. Life. Of course, the rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to, to hold me down, I don't know what would have happened to you. I don't know. Well, it's done, boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah. Uh, Sorry, I'm feeling. Hey, Addy's gonna... Hey, hey, Ricky. I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Deke, I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got March duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. And there's way more than that, riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're... Coming up on the highway, we gotta be quiet. Alright, get, get down. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? You smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him. Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Out. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah. In July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. 
These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer too. Ricky, and Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <coughs> yeah, we don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. How be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my bear. There and there, we bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. up a bit let's see if you can keep up yeah okay tell me when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks you spend your spare time just following them around seeing what makes them tick not exactly and how do you know about all this about what a horde's gonna do where they sleep a few days ago I was riding north of Belknap crater when a chopper flew by a chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed him. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, 
Look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Say, John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike, you'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out.